Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Why the Fed should be cautious about hydrogen regulation among the burgeoning wealth of new technologies and energy sources being developed as part of this energy transition, hydrogen and its viability is among the most controversial. Depending on who you talk to, hydrogen is either a miracle fuel with the potential to play a major role in the playing carbon reduction, or a looming bankruptcy that investors and developers will squander many billions on before they realize it is not viable in a scalable way. When such controversies arise, we often find that the reality falls somewhere in the middle lies at the extremes, and hydrogen and its future appear to be no exception to that rule. Oh, on the other hand, the worst mistake the government could make would be to throw the baby out with the bathwater before the bath even has gone in. Hydrogen credit, that was part of the Inflation Reduction Act, which was passed by Congress and last summer by the President and Joe Biden was signed. At the center of the debate is the question of how the credit should be applied to so-called electrolytic hydrogen, which is produced by splitting hydrogen and oxygen molecules in water with electricity. If groups like the National Resources Defense Council, the Environmental Defense Fund and the Union of Concerned Scientists have their way, the Treasury Department will issue guidance discouraging investment in hydrogen made from off-grid electricity. Such a restrictive approach would require even more massive deployment of renewable energies, such as wind and solar, than is already underway. This ignores the reality that these technologies are already being promoted by boosters, in response to all other power generation needs, at a time when an unprecedented expansion of total generation capacity will be required, just to charge all the electric vehicles we all supposedly just buy will be 10 years later. That is not even counting the huge need for additional capacity that will be required simply to accommodate economic and population growth, along.